Tinting, alarm stereos, uh, remote starts keep you warm in the winter. Uh, my address is 308 20th Street, Brooklyn, New York. My phone number is 718 219 5925. All right, now tell us a little bit about the car, how you came to get the car, and what type of car is it? Okay, it's a 1980 Toyota Corolla SR5 liftback. Uh, I bought it out in Jersey 18 years ago. Been having it since. I uh, bought it as a family car and uh, turned it into a race car after about 10 or so years. Yeah, all right. Now, he did a lot of crazy things to this car. First question is, why'd you do it? Just something in my blood, you know, being a Hispanic, enjoying old school import cars, you know, going out to all the races, Flatlands Avenue, you know, Hunts Point. This is something that was, it's in my blood. What do you, what do you, what do you Spanish call it? La, la, la fiebre, yeah. la fiebre. This is in us. All right, all right, so now we're gonna ask you to tell us some of the things that you did to the car. Well, I've done a wide range of, you know, different changes over the years, from being a low rider, to being a, a stalker, I've changed rims, the look a hundred times over, you know, having it so long. All right, now, here's the cool thing, everyone. He's going to show us the stuff that he's done to the car, and you'll see, A, what makes the car look so nice, B, run so good, and one of the best import drags in the area. All right, so, Ralph, you want to take us through the car? Sure. Absolutely. All right, tell us what you got going on here, because it looks like a lot. Well, this is my last and foremost uh, setup that this car will ever... Power to the ground, I use a Richie Sorrell transmission. It's a Chrysler Torque Flight 904, three speed, full manual transmission, which I just recently rebuilt, which I'm proud of myself for doing. Oh, you did it yourself? Absolutely. Right. Size turbo are you using? I use a T72 with a 69 rear. Okay. Three inch downpipe. Size injectors? A uh, thousand cc's. Thousand cc injectors, custom fuel rail, obviously. Custom fuel rail. All right. What kind of engine management are you using? I use a Wolf 3D. Okay. Right. Two by Wayne Speed. Nice, nice. Here I got my boost gauge that I moved from the roll bar because it was interfering with my quarter mile view. Okay, it goes up to 30 psi. Eventually, going to change it. You know, I'm going to run a little more psi than that. I got my tachometer. 
which is excellent. Small, compact, does everything, all my shift points. Um, on this side, I have my water gauge, my oil pressure gauge. I have my blower gauge, which has a recoil on the dash, so I don't ever have to look at anything. At the end of the run, everything is there in memory. I have my grand steering wheel, which is not removable, as you can see. Pretty much, I got all the stock gauges up front. I have my EGT gauge right here, which also has a recall. You press a hold button on it, and it stores the, the run. I have my nice automatic cheater shifter, which those stick shift guys don't like. Because I'm so consistent with it. Uh, line lock. I got the Wolf 3D display here. Which does my data logging for the computer. Standalone.